this video, we're going to take a look at email outreach automation. And the process is very simple. We're going to take information from our potential customers, like customer names, their websites or their social media page. If they are recruiters or hiring managers, maybe we want to know more about their job titles. We also want to know more about their ratings. If they're selling a products or services, but then we can also be able to extract their reviews or ratings from Google maps or Yelp reviews. Or if you're using tools like note taker apps, where it can be able to take notes from virtual meetings, you can also keep track of those transcripts from past conversations and try to identify what are the problems that the customer have to identify what problems they have and be able to take these services that you guys offer and pass this information to OpenAI or large language model and be able to use NAN to automate this process to send customized AI email outreach to potential customers that can increase the email conversion rate. Now, the reason why I do this video is because the traditional marketing for email is not working. Now, take this email as an example. So you can see that I received an email on the other day saying that we just released this feature and please check this out. Now, this email is great. It's very short and it has image to have customers to visualize. But what's really missing is the motivation because the business owner does not know what problem does the customer have, right? What does the feature actually solve the customer problems? And most importantly, what does the customer really want? The business owner who actually sent this email does not know that. And that's the problem that we want to solve in this video is that traditional marketing they use MailChimp and ClickFunnels and more to automate their email campaigns with a static template for this is what they're going to send in day one, this is what they're going to send in day two, and this is what they're going to send as a follow-up on day three. They have no idea what this customer really wants and every customers are different and they have no idea about that using the same generic emails and be able to think that maybe we can be able to A-B test our email marketing templates and maybe we can be able to increase the conversion rates. But what they really should fix is the entire strategies for marketing and make it personalized for the entire email outreach so that for every email that they send is personalized based on the information that we gathered from the users. And that's the potential that I'm going to show you in this video. And in the past few weeks, I was able to using these automations and get so much results out of the cold leads using AI to send customized emails based on the data that I collect along with the services that I offer and getting so much results. And I believe that I can help you to do the same in this video. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so if you're interested in AI or tech related content. So with that being said, let's get started. All right, so let's first take a look at the first workflow, which is recruiter email outreach. And the goal for this workflow is to send cold personalized emails to recruiters or hiring managers for job seekers. And here we can see that we are using a Google Sheets to store all the leads. So let's take a look at Google Sheets first. And just to show you what data structure look like that we have inside of our Google Sheets for collecting our CRM, this is what it looks like. So you can see we have our name, we have the first name as well as the email. And then we also have our job titles. So these are could be hiring managers, engineering managers, uh, recruiters, or all kinds of different titles, right? We also collect the company, which company does this person work for? And then if we were to scroll to the right, you can see that we also have status. So done means that the email has already sent to this lead. And if we were to scroll all the way down, you can see there is also to do. So to do means that the lead has not been reached out yet. So the next one I believe is going to reach out to row 557. Okay, so let me walk you through how the workflow works so you get a better understanding on what each of those components does in the workflow. So first you can see we have our schedule trigger which will run every six to seven minutes or actually five to seven minutes. So if you were to click on the uh, schedule, you can see that it's random number generate every time. So between five to seven. And then we also have our Git lead, which you can see here. Uh, first, you can see we're selecting a Google Sheets. And in this case, we're going to select the status. So the status column, which must be equal to to do. And here we you can see here that we, for the options, we only return just one first matching row. And then inside of our workflow, we pass the data to the email crafter. So here you can see we have our email crafter, which is using a GPT to generate the email. And here is the prompt for the email generator. So you can see here that we start by passing the name, the job title, as well as the lead company. And then we're basically providing the instructions on how the AI should generate the email body. And if we were to scroll down, you can see that there is an example output that I provide. So first we start by the greeting. And then what we do is we're going to have GPT to generate the mission statement about this company. So let's say this person is working for one password. Then it's going to talk about what this one password does 
What's their mission statement? What does this company do? So at least it shows that we know about what this company does rather than just endless applying to a random company. And then here you can see we follow by introducing ourselves, right? So my experience, how many years of experience that I have, what are the skills, what are the projects that I have led, and you know, all those kind of things about myself. And then here you can see this is where we draw the connection between the company and my experience. We simply pass the instructions on this is my skills and this is the company and draw the connections, let AI to figure this out, right? So then here followed by, we also pass that, hey, here I see that you are a recruiter at this company or I see that you're an engineer manager at this company. So it shows that, hey, we know who you are, right? And you're working for this company and this is your job title. And then I also have a call to actions to try to have a quick chat. And that's the goal for this email is to have a quick chat to see how my background can align with what you're looking for. So then at the very end, you can see that I have attached my YouTube channel so that the other person can be able to learn more about what I offer, right? So you can see that it's very simple email, less than like two to 300 words. And basically we want to send this email on a schedule and that's what we're trying to do in this workflow. All right, so then once we have our email sent to our Gmail account, then we also have our Google Sheets. But you can also use Outlook as well to send your email. So here you can see um, once we have sent our email, we're also gonna update the status for the status column in our Google Sheets. So we're gonna mark from to do to done. So here you can see if we were to scroll all the way down for the values to update, um, you can see that all the way down, you can see there's done. Okay, so we're changing the status for this row to be done. Okay, and then just to show you the results that it actually works, if I were to turn this active, I have let this run like a couple of days. You can see that I have already sent like multiple emails already. And you can see that I have sent this email every five to seven minutes. This one is extra because I have triggered this manually, but you can see that um, there is the interval between like multiple emails or all the emails is between five to seven minutes. So here you can see 1130, 1136 and such. All right, so now what I wanna talk about is why do we wanna use this workflow? Why do we want AI to write our email and use NAN to schedule our workflow? Why can't we just send a bulk email ourselves? Like what I demonstrate in this video right here. Why can't we do this? Well, the reason is because in traditional emails, when we send a code emails, it's very generic and it really means nothing to them. So when I try to send like a promotional emails or a newsletter, sometimes it's not very personalized. It just shows that you don't know about this person. You don't know who they are, what do they do and what company they work for, right? So if we have already those informations, we can actually use NAN and GPT to craft that and make it much more personalized because we can simply just pass to the GPT that, hey, this is the job title, the company, this is the person. I'm trying to send this person an email. Here is my resume. I want you to personalize it so that we can be able to send an email outreach to make it much more personalized and have a higher chance for reaching back. Now we can also do this for B2B outreach as well. So for example, let's say we want to send a personalized email and basically what we can do is we first scrape the business info. So for example, we can be able to scrape their websites and be able to look for different sources to understand their business problems. And then what we can do here is we can specify or list out all the services that we offer and then we can pass that information, pass this to GPT or large language models to write a personalized email. And then we can use NAN to actually automate this so that we can be able to run our email outreach on an autopilot. So in that case, let me show you how this works inside NAN. So here you can see we have a new workflow called B2B email outreach, which is very similar to what we have for the recruiter outreach. And you can see here that we have our schedule trigger first, right? We should run on a certain time period. And then we also have our Git lead, which will basically fetch a lead from our Google Sheets. And then here we also have our HTTP request and our markdown. So what this is basically doing here is we'll basically um, take the website, so the business website, and it will scrape the data, and then it's going to convert it into a markdown format. And then what we do here is we can be able to pass this data, the markdown, into an email summarizer, or sorry, a website summarizer, basically trying to summarize the website based on the markdown that we generate. And then once we summarize the website, then we're gonna pass this information to the email crafter, just like how we did it for the recruiter outreach. And simply we just pass the website summarizer, right? The information about the website, the potential problems that we can try to identify, as well as the services that we offer. Then we can be able to craft that into an email and be able to send the email and then update the status in Google Sheets. And you can see here that very similar to how we did it for the recruiter outreach. You can see that this is the Google Sheets. And here you can see I have the status done, which is sent. And to do means that the email has not been sent yet. Here you can see we have name, email, city, state, 
and different categories as well as the business website. So we can use that to scrape it and be able to summarize it. Then we pass the GPT and identify what are some potential problems that our services can offer, right? So let's say if you are a business owners, you're doing like plumbing, or if you're selling for business uh, B2B products like software, then you can use this email marketing automation strategy, converting more leads into customers. And then you can see that if I were to run this, you can see that I have run this multiple times and you can see that it does work pretty well for this workflow. And that's pretty much it for this video. I showed you two workflows. One is the recruiter outreach and the other one is B2B email outreach, which is using a similar strategy. So that's it for this video. If you do found value in this video, please make sure to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you in the next video.